is Constantine, the thrifty backpacker, and today I'm checking in. France Republic. I'm French! So? Okay, so there is a cafe on the first floor, which is really expensive cafe with coffee, but the design is very nice. But we go to the second floor and there is a very interesting quest check-in procedure which I have already passed. You're given a password and then you write a code, you type in the code and then you get a card. So I already passed that and I got this card. But I've never tried it though. Yeah, here we go. And here we go in. Okay, so let's go up the stairs. It's very, very clean. And there is a very good hidden spot. Very, very quiet. And the music is playing from the cafe, which creates a very unique vibe. So you can just sit here and chill. I don't even need to go to the room. So this floor lets you see what's behind the cafe. So normally you get your key card here using a code which you're given by the owner. And these are rooms. And the kitchen. So first I'm gonna show you my room which is here on the left and uh, I paid about $16 for it but in the end with taxes with con convertition it cost me about $18 maybe a little bit overpriced but I think it's worth it at least once. So there's a key card that we use This is my paradise, <laughs> okay, <laughs> for $18. Oh, we insert the card and we turn on the lights. So there's a small bed, a pretty nice walls, so it looks stylish. Some people would say take it, but I won't because everything is new. There is a mirror here. Okay, even the trash can, very nice lights, and uh, there's a shelf and the AC, which works okay. So we have a remote, boom, come on, yeah, here we go, and it's working. Unfortunately, I can't... Oh my god, something is wrong. Disaster, disaster. We have a problem here. Maybe I should... I think I'm gonna be trapped here. Damn it! Okay, so I can't really exit here, unfortunately, but I can open open it here. And enjoy balcony from here. So it's like a prison cell, <laughs> but much nicer in terms of the vibe. You can also see that the towel has been provided for me. I was able to get out. And uh, luckily enough, it stopped making this crazy noise. So I hope that it's gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, but well, you can see that there are also uh, hooks here for clothes. 
and pretty nice lights. Okay, I'm gonna show you some more. The thing that I don't like is that the door closes automatically. No matter if you want it or don't want it. And unfortunately, it makes me feel uncomfortable because it feels like it could be controlled from somewhere else. So if they want to lock me in, they will, or there's a glitch. And you can't really exit the balcony, so... Uh, okay, but other than that, the design is pretty cool. Yeah, hands down. Fortunately, there's only one outlet here, at least the one that I could find. And make sure that um, you have the right size of an outlet and you're able to convert it because you won't be able to do it with a traditional one or the US one so make sure you've got it so let me show you the common area here okay so let's close the door and it closes automatically boom this time without a siren I'm gonna put some damn it, water but first First, let me show you the bathroom, which is just nearby. Okay, no? Okay, so we turn it on here. I don't know what kind of stuff it's, there is there. You can wash your feet. And there is a shower. Done in a pretty old school way. Very, very stylish pretty clean. There is hot water, cold water and, uh, and uh, some shampoo. There is also toilet seat with a pretty simple bidet and uh, the sink, like prison type, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, and there is a mirror so you can enjoy looking at yourself while you're Shitting. Okay. There's somebody taking a shower there. Okay. So there are two cabins, I think. You can still hear music from the bottom. So you feel like you're in a cafe, in a VIP lounge. And uh, somebody's taking a shower. So there's also the second floor in the rooms. And this part is a kind of like a kitchen area. It's possible to sit here. And these chairs are very comfortable, super soft. Like, oh my God, like, look at that. Ah, oh, so you can just sit here, chill, listen to music, drink some coffee. It's just amazing. To be honest, I would really want to stay here longer just because of these vibes. I just can't even emphasize how cozy it is. Although uh, I read some bad reviews on Google Maps, so people complained about mice and, I don't know, mosquitoes. Now it's perfect. So maybe, maybe at night, we'll see what's gonna happen at night, if there's gonna be any mosquitoes, but I don't think it should be like this because now everything is so perfect, so clean, so good. Oh my god. And look at these walls. They're like after floods, but it's all done naturally. Um, it's, I don't know, very cool. So this um, glass box. And there is a... There is an AC, which is not working now, but you can turn it on. Uh, there's a ventilator, and uh, there is a water dispenser, so you can make some coffee yourself. There is also tea and coffee for free. And there is a fridge, so you can buy something and keep it there. Okay, and even a freezer very convenient I wish they had a microwave like come on guys it's so difficult there wasn't a microwave in the previous hostel there isn't a microwave here like what the hell okay so and see you can also sit here so and there are this soft pillows so you can just put it here and sit like that 
and drink coffee like this and look at people from above that's amazing you can see that there is a rooftop over here so the way it is designed it is incredible it's here in the evening too no music though dim lights and you can also see if there is a light on the door it means that the person is inside and no light no person inside pretty cool good morning I can tell you that I slept pretty well and didn't have any problems with mosquitoes like some people said um, in reviews so I think uh, the key feature is here let me show you and it is about any kind of hotel here in Asia so when it gets dark it's very important that you first of all close the curtains uh, because the light attracts insects <laughs> and secondly you close it close the window as much as possible so you leave a very small crack for air and uh, you close the curtains so if you do that there will be very few mosquitoes and I think I had like maybe one or two so I got beaten a little bit but that was fine because I think some tourists what they do they just open it keep it open like this and of course mosquitoes rush into the room second disadvantage is the plug-in so you have to have this one and uh, the third one the last one which is totally minimal is that um, when you're asleep or you want to fall asleep you have to turn off the light here so you have to stand up and turn on the light turn off the light but again it's a slight disadvantage other than that it's great experience and yeah last thing is it's not really soundproof so you can hear your neighbors really well and they can hear you really well like really really well but other than that it's great okay guys i'll be checking out right now um, i'm gonna have breakfast and check in, in a new place okay it's time to go so thank you very much for watching subscribe to this channel to see more interesting videos about cheap accommodation and activities around the world and i'll see you guys later take care bye